Well, as you can imagine, she's not coping particularly well, which probably most people wouldn't, because the man she was in love with is her brother, and she almost slept with him. Nathan's my brother. Will is my brother. He's just a boy I know from the village. No, darling, he's your brother. He can't be! He's my boyfriend, Ryan, and I really like him. And now you're just spoiling everything because Dad's having an affair with his mum! I'm sorry, Maisie. Stop it! Maisie is really angry with Natasha because she didn't tell her. She knew that Mark was Ryan's father and kept it from Maisie, so Maisie really feels like she's been kept in the dark by her whole family, and she feels... Even though, obviously, Natasha was actually doing that to protect her, the state that Maisie's in at the moment, she just feels kind of really shut out and she's really angry with Natasha because she feels like Natasha could have prevented the situation from happening. Alcohol is kind of helping her to kind of cover up all of those feelings that she's having. Right, what are we drinking to? Um, More decent men in it? Oh. <laughs> Even though she didn't actually sleep with Ryan, she certainly thought about it and those images are going round in her head and the fact that he's her brother and also she's you know, still in love with him. You can't just stop loving somebody just because you find that out even though you know it's wrong. Not just using alcohol, but also she's really desperate for male attention because she's feeling so low about herself at the moment. Sexual attention from men is another thing that's making her feel good about herself in the short term, but that certainly isn't making her feel any better. It's making her feel worse about herself. You ask too many questions. Just shut up and get us a taxi. It's fine by me. Come on. She is aware of how reckless she's being. She hates herself for what she's felt for her brother. She, she still has those feelings, and she had sexual feelings for him, and she feels sick about it, and so she's hating herself. So she knows she's being reckless, but it's kind of to punish herself for what she felt. Ah, oh, I've seen the way you look at me. It's fine. I don't mind. I, I'll let you if you want. Or I could go for Bobby, and then I could just have a lovely little Bobby baby. This <laughs> isn't you. Maisie's breakdown kind of culminates in her throwing herself at men in the pub. Uh, men like Marlon and Bob. People are staring. What happened to you? <laughs> right, that's it. You go home and you sober up. Get off me! It's kind of a vicious circle because then she hates herself even more for it. And then she ends up self-harming. Um, in the toilets of the wall pack. <laughs> Her feelings that she had for Ryan, you know, she never wanted to hurt Kate, and even though it was a terrible thing to go out with your friend's boyfriend. She was absolutely head over heels in love with him and she never felt like that before. So to her, regardless of the fact that she's now found out he's her brother, this was a huge thing for her, this relationship. And to know that he could that quickly go back to Katie is really painful because it kind of belittles their, the relationship that she had with Ryan and that's hard to deal with. Rosie? <laughs> oh, what have you done? Did she need an ambulance? <laughs> it, was, it was an accident, I didn't mean it. I don't want to die. It's okay. Honestly, wait, it's, it's okay. Move, move out of the way, yeah, and then I can get in. I do. I want to die. I want to die.